here today at the former Grace Hospital site to announce that the Government of Ontario will be supporting the City of Windsor with the demolition and redevelopment of this site. I'm proud of the support the Ontario Government is providing to clean up the site and to fulfill its commitment to the residents of Windsor. The province has provided the City of Windsor a one-time grant of $3 million to support the demolition, cleanup, and redevelopment of this site. Now I know that uh, recently the City engaged uh, in an RFP process for the cleanup of this property. Through this period, we have been working with the City to determine the full cost. I understand that the total actual costs for this project are expected to be approximately $7 million. The request for the additional $4 million is currently undergoing appropriate government approvals. I remain supportive of the request to increase the provincial funding to $7 million in total, subject to appropriate government approvals. This investment is a significant development for not only the residents of this neighborhood, but for all the residents of the City of Windsor. In less than 90 days, it was the end of November, and the City acquired the site. Uh, the city then moved quickly to put out for tender for the demolition of the site, keeping with its commitment to the residents and that we're going to clean up this site. And the province of Ontario has been there from the very beginning. And I'd like to recognize both Teresa Dwight, who worked with us uh, tirelessly through the weeks uh, from November till now, and for their support of $7 million uh, so that we can tear down uh, the site. Uh, they're going to start with the abatement process. That process will take months. Uh, they will make their way building to building as one building is cleared of asbestos, the demolition will begin uh, to take place. Uh, uh, in, uh, obviously that building uh, then will be launched and we'll move on to the next one. The piles that uh, have been now uh, referred to as the famous piles on the site will be moved uh, initially, uh, removed uh, as the abatement process begins. So a lot of people in this neighborhood have waited a long time uh, for this day and uh, they're out there still filming this on their porches, uh, enjoying their warm coffees. They should have smiles on their faces as they do because they put up with a lot. Uh, this has been an intrusion onto their, into their way of life. This has been an intrusion into this neighborhood. And uh, as a result of the support of the provincial government, support of my council colleagues, we can finally move to bring some normal back uh, to the neighbors, to the residents that have had to deal with this 